From fake DNA tests to carefully crafted lies, these master manipulators stop at nothing to perpetuate their twisted charade. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most despicable acts that can shatter lives and tear families apart, paternity fraud. Prepare yourselves because we're about to expose the infuriating truth behind why some women engage in this deceitful practice and the devastating consequences they should face. You spent five years in prison for failing to pay child support for the defendant, Ms. Sears' son, Dylan. Mr. Manser, you are not his father. Oh, man. Five years in prison. Do you know? Yes, You know who his father is. You are not the father. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Let's get one thing straight right from the start. Paternity fraud is an act of pure betrayal, perpetrated by women who are willing to play with innocent lives for their own selfish gains. It's time we shed light on this dark secret. Why do women commit paternity fraud? Well, there are a few reasons, none of which excuse their actions. Some women do it for financial motives, seeking child support payments from unsuspecting men who are led to believe they'd fathered a child. It's a cold, calculated move to exploit someone's trust and generosity. Others do it out of revenge or spite, aiming to punish a man they feel wronged them in some way. They use an innocent child as a weapon, manipulating emotions and causing immense pain to both the child and the falsely accused father. It's beyond comprehension. In the case of Miller versus Rasmussen, when it comes to three-year-old Zaley Rasmussen, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Rasmussen, you are not the father. Miss Miller. Sorry. Miss Miller. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. That's a lot of nerve. You just show me where your priorities were right there. Because I held out hope that you weren't just acting a fool because you so mad at him because he cheated on you that you would cheat your child out of a father. But that cheering you did, what you cheering? I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. What you cheering for? I'm not. No, you were. He is over here breaking down because he loves this child so much. I sit here day after day after day with women hoping a man would drive 16 miles to see their baby, much less 160 miles each way, and abide by a court order. And The father. Mm, told you so. I'm sorry, Mr. G. But let's not forget the heart wrenching consequences of paternity fraud. Innocent men are financially burdened, emotionally scared, and robbed of precious time with their own flesh and blood. Children are denied the opportunity to have a meaningful relationship with their real fathers forced to live a lie. These women who commit paternity fraud must be held accountable for their actions. They should face severe consequences, including legal penalties and financial reparations to the victims they deceived. Society cannot afford to turn a blind eye to such heinous acts. We need stricter laws and regulations to protect men from paternity fraud. Mandatory DNA testing at birth would ensure the truth is revealed, preventing any manipulation or deceit. Paternity fraud runs rampant in the United States and across the globe, and it's an absolute disgrace. The so-called reliable American Association of Blood Banks has released a shocking research report from accredited parentage laboratories. Brace yourself for the truth. A staggering three out of every 10 men tested were cruelly deceived and found out they are not the biological father. Can you believe it? And this mind-boggling revelation is based on a hopping 300,000 DNA paternity testing cases analyzed, which means approximately 100,000 men have been unjustly labeled as fathers. 
It's crucial to note that these results were derived from legal DNA testing, not even considering the peace of mind DNA tests. Hold on, it gets worse. According to the esteemed International Journal of Epidemiology and Health, the global scenario is equally horrifying. Brace yourself for this infuriating statistic. One out of every 25 men worldwide is unknowingly raising another man's child. Let that sink in. These poor men are pouring their hearts, their time, and their hard-earned resources into raising a child that isn't even theirs. This sheer betrayal and deceit are absolutely outrageous. How can we allow such an egregious violation of trust to persist? It's an affront to every man who has dedicated himself to fatherhood. The gravity of these statistics should enrage us all and compel us to take action against this abominable practice. It's time to bring attention to this despicable issue and demand justice for the countless innocent men who have been wronged. Enough is enough. It's absolutely infuriating how the system works when it comes to paternity claims. If a mother decides to choose a potential father based on her own assumptions about who will be a better provider, it's the man who bears the burden of proving her wrong. Can you believe that? And to make matters worse, the time frame for challenging paternity is ridiculously limited, varying from a mere six months to a paltry two years, depending on the state. But that's not all. In most states, they have the audacity to presume that a child born to a married couple automatically belongs to the husband, regardless of any evidence to the contrary. And what's the rationale behind this? Oh, it's to maintain the so-called stability of the family structure. Give me a break. It's nothing but an excuse to avoid dealing with the truth and deny justice to men who may be wrongly labeled as fathers. It's a damn shame that submitting DNA samples from a married couple is considered inappropriate by the courts. Are they afraid of upsetting the delicate balance of the family? Well, guess what? The truth matters. The rights of individuals matter. It's time to stop prioritizing an outdated notion of family stability, of a fairness and justice. This whole system reeks of bias and unfairness. Men deserve the right to challenge paternity claims without being constrained by arbitrary deadlines and presumptions based on marital status. It's high time we demand a change and fight against this grossly unjust treatment of fathers. That's all for today on Manhood, guys. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.